Hi, I'm Dallin. I'm an IT trainer at GuideDoc Singapore. Today, I'll be showing you how to make use of your contact list in iOS with VoiceOver enabled. We'll start off with adding a new context to your contacts list, showing you how to access contacts in your contacts list, and performing functions such as making a phone call. Today, I'll be using the iPhone 13 for demonstration. We'll be looking at how we can add contacts to our phone. There are two different ways you can access your contacts. The first way is through the phone app and under the contacts tab. And the second way is using the contacts app on your phone. Over here, we have the phone app open. We are currently on the contacts tab. The context icon is the third icon located in the navigation tab bar. Now we will be adding a new contact to our contact list. To do that, we have to locate the add button, which could be found on the top right hand of the screen, right below the status bar. You can either use your one finger swipe gestures or your explore by touch to locate it. Shut search add button. When you find the add button, you can do a one finger double tap gesture to activate. Text field is editing. First name. Insertion point at start. Notice that it is currently focused on the text field first name in the contact creation screen. The contact creation screen contains fields such as your first name, last name, and add phone number and more. Minimally, you have to fill up your first name and your phone number or an email address. Notice that the keyboard is open on the bottom half of the phone screen. That is because the first name field has been selected. We'll first start by entering in the first name and the phone number fields. To type on the keyboard, we'll first place our finger at the bottom half of the phone screen where the keyboard is located. We'll locate the key that we want, and when we want to tap on the key, we'll do a one finger double tap gesture to activate it. Do note that the typing mode is currently set to standard typing, as it is the default typing mode when voiceover is enabled. Let's fill in the first name. First, I'll locate the letter D, because I'll be typing my name. Cap D, Delta. When I want to key in this letter, I'll do a one finger double tap gesture. Cap D. I'll continue to type the rest of the letters in my name. A, A, L, 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 I, U, O, O, space, B, return, M, N, November, N. Now let's just first check if our first name have been entered incorrectly. We can use the explore by touch to locate the first name field. First name, first name, text field is editing. Dallin, insertion point at end. Notice that I have read out my name. Next, we will add a phone number. And to do that, we will have to locate the add phone button. From where we are, we can use the one finger swipe right gesture to locate it. Clear text, last name, company, add phone, button. So we have located the add phone button. We'll use a one finger double tap gesture to activate it. Add for text field is editing, so. Notice that the keyboard has been replaced with a keypad. This is similar to a phone style keypad. Let's key in the phone number. Five, two, five, eight. Same thing, find the number that you want and perform a one finger double tap gesture to activate. Eight, zero, zero, two, two, three, three, two, two, nine, nine five, five, two, two, so we have successfully entered in the phone number. The next thing that we can do is to actually select the type of phone number this is. Right beside the phone number text field, we can actually find a button that states mobile at the moment. Text field 
is editing. Eight zero two. So on the left of this, we will find the button that states mobile. Mobile button. So to activate this button, we will just do a one finger double tap. This will bring up the different types that are available. Cancel button. Selected mobile home. So over here, we can select things like home, work, or school, or even others. For now, we'll just leave this as mobile. Selected. Selected. Mobile. You don't have to change it if you like to leave it as default. Now, we can proceed to save this contact. And to do that, we have to locate the Done button, which could be found on the top right-hand corner of the phone screen right below the status bar. You can either use your one finger swipe to the left gesture from where we are to locate for the Done button, or to use your Explore by Touch. Text, cut, done, button. Once you hear the Done button, do a one finger double tap gesture. Edit. We have successfully created our contact name Dallin. From where we are, to view the list of contacts that we have on our phone, we will have to locate for the back button, which could be found on the top left hand corner of the screen right below the status bar. Contacts, back button, contacts, Dallin. Over here, you can see a list of contacts on my phone. If you have a long list of contacts, you can use your three fingers scrolling gesture to bring it down to the next page. To locate each of the contacts, you could use your one finger swipe gestures or the explore by touch to search for the contact that you want. The other way is to use the search function to locate for the contact that you want. The search function could be found on the top, right below the heading contacts. For now, I'll use the explore by touch method to look for the contact that I want to call. Contacts, search, clear, Dallin. To go into the contact, to review more information of this person, just do a one finger double tap. Dallin. Over here, apart from seeing contact information about the person, we can also locate functions such as message or call. We can either use our Explore by Touch to find it or one finger swipe gesture. Message, call, button. When we double tap on this call button, a menu will pop up to select the different ways you could call a person. It could be through WhatsApp or if you have other apps, you may see it over here. So let's just press the call button. Mobile. Eight zero. So we can see mobile. WhatsApp. We can also see WhatsApp. So let's just select mobile. Mobile. When we double tap on this, it will proceed to make the call. Do remember, if you want to end the call, you'll do a two fingers double tap. So now the call has ended. We have taken a look at adding contacts and making a phone call with the use of your contacts list. I hope you have found this video useful. Once again, I'm Dallin. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time. If you would like to learn more about operating your phone, you can arrange an appointment with our IT trainers at Guide Dog Singapore by calling 6339-7900 or email us at it at guidedogs.org.sg